I think we can... <laughs> Ripper. All right, so we have the fans going right now, so I, I apologize for that noise, but. I just got these ARP studs in. These are what we're using, obviously, to put the head and hold the head on, and these things were so freaking expensive. But I'm really happy that I went this route because I definitely don't want to lift a head or have any other problems happen. Um, but this is like the final piece of the puzzle that we needed in order to start the build. But we are gonna leave these in the actual car so that they don't get lost or anything because there's all kinds of stuff going on in the shop right now. Look at, they have the Civic here. They have this Lambo right here. They have an M6 right over there. Right next to that, they have a 5.0, which I think this has been in the vlog before. And they've got a few other cars in the back that need to be worked on. But my motor is currently in the bathroom. So here's my motor right here. This is going to be started up hopefully either today or tomorrow that, now that we have all the studs and everything that we need. I also have a new oil filter. I just bought all the oil, which for those of you guys that follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. Um, the block on this thing is pretty fresh. Uh, every, like everything that's on the motor right now is totally perfect. Everything is absolutely fine. So I'm really happy about that. So here's that Lamborghini that was making all that racket a little bit ago. It has a twin turbo setup. I really like this color too of it's it's like um it's just like a really dark gray with of course the black interior in there it looks really good as well pretty cool car and it's freaking loud at that all right so we made it over here to the skate park we're at summerly park again and today i actually brought something with me today i brought the kicker so we've actually made a video like this before but it was over at Kellogg skate park it wasn't here but over here we have the perfect spot to actually put the kicker which is right here because once we put it here we'll actually have a gap that we can hit and we can like scoot it back further and further and do tricks over it so it's actually going to be a little bit of a uh, an interesting project but it's gonna be a lot of fun but before we actually do all that um i mean i don't have a gopro yet like i haven't bought another one because i broke mine but that doesn't mean we can't get clips with this camera so let's get some clips in the bowl random filming session got interrupted because Mackenzie brought me wings and things and I just sat down and started eating. So I apologize for the lack of clips on that one, but we got two good ones. What a front scoop, catch whip, the big gap, and the 180 wheel tap 180 thing out. I don't know what the heck that's called. It's, it's, well, it's tough though, I'll tell you that. I figure now that we've gotten this far, let's grab the kicker and start putting it in random places in the park. Isaac, come here. Where shall we start with the kicker? Where should we begin our, uh, our extravaganza? Stairs. Stairs? Stairs. To rail. Wait, did you say to rail? To rail. No. I don't want to, I'm not going to do the rail. You can do the rail if you want. Count me the heck out. So stairs first for my boy Isaac, and you're actually jumping it first. Uh, to the rail. Oh, my hat is getting so dirty. I need to get a new one. But if you want to get yours, you can go to www.rewarn.com. Actually, never mind because there's no hats right now, but the new gloves are coming soon. I finished designing them, sent them off. So soon enough, we'll get some new gloves. Okay, so stairs first. Are we going up the stairs or down? I think up. Up. up sounds way better. Yeah. Stairs it is first. This was your idea, so you're first. You're gonna wanna watch out, I can tell you that right now. Get it, right now. Easy. How about just a double whip? We'll, we'll keep it easy. works well I think it's time for another spot okay the next spot we're gonna do is not gonna be oh it's not gonna be as like steep because I don't want to put it on the ramp anymore because that was kind of like it was cool 
but it was very sudden. So I'm actually gonna put it on flat. We're gonna be going into this bank right here. So it's it's kind of like a box jump, sort of, but not really. I wanna get a quick three whip on this, and then I wanna flip this one as well, because it's kind of like a box, like I said, so the landing should be really simple. up three up worked so now let's get the backy get my back get my back okay well i'm happy with the backy on that one let's move it to the a-frame i want to make like kind of like not i don't want to call it a mega ramp but it's like just a big gap we'll call it a, a mini mega gap we'll call it that you missed the ramp i'm glad you did because that'll break it hey don't frump up onto the ramp, you idiot. You remember when you jumped it into the seven at Cal Oaks? It was like, Argh. you'll lose teeth. Your dad will be pissed. All right, A-frame. So we're gonna start right here. We got about, about a 10 foot gap right here from the kicker to the landing of the A-frame. So let's see how far back we can get this. I don't know if we're gonna be tricking if we get it all the way back here or anything, but we'll give it a shot. Whoa! That was way, way too easy. So we gotta scoot it back. I'm gonna scoot it back like five feet. Okay, it's big now. It's far. That's impossible. A little harder. I think we can... <laughs> Rip off. I was gonna say, I think I can move back a little bit further. Uh, maybe like another foot or two. And uh, we'll go... Yeah, sick! And we'll see what happens. All right, let's move it back a little bit. Oh, that's far. Right now we're at about, I would say like eight, 18 feet from kicker to the landing. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to make this one, but we're gonna give it a shot. Oh. My foot came off, I'm doing it again. I think we should try to go one more, just a little tiny bit further. Another one. That's freaking far, that's freaking far. All right, I think it's enough jumping around for the day. I think it's enough of like making this like the sketchiest gap I've ever done here. So this is where we ended up, from the kicker all the way to the takeoff. Right now we're probably at about like 20 feet, which is like just, just shy of what the smallest gap on the mini mega ramp is, so. It's kind of cool, it's kind of an interesting little thing that we can have here at the skate park, but I'm not leaving this here because this is my kicker and I ride it at my house in my front yard when I'm barred. But your boy is really tired. It's been a long day, we've done a lot of riding. I think we've been here for like five and a half or six hours now, so I'm very happy that we came here today. I'm happy that you guys joined me today on this little kicker extra extravaganza I guess is what you could call it but I think we need a positive message you know one thing I try not to hide on this channel is failure I, I don't I don't land every single trick uh, I, I don't achieve every single goal I've done and, and I'm sure a lot of you guys that are watching this video have been in that same boat. We've all run into some some barrier along the way, whether it be during trying to accomplish a, a goal or just trying to get through your own day. We've all been through stressful situations and there's, there's some big ones, you know, big ones that we've all been through. Uh, I have some friends that uh, were right in the middle of doing something large for themselves and it was costing them a lot of money and they lost their job. That happened to a lot of people during this entire COVID situation and it's scary. You guys have heard me say before that taking any leap, any any new risk is scary. Everybody takes failure in a different way. Me personally, I, I get really quiet and I don't try to show it because I'm stressing out. You might know somebody or you might be that kind of person that just, just cries it out. Some people turn to drinking, some people turn to eating. You know, there's a lot of different ways that people deal with it. But no matter what it is, no matter how you actually uh, deal with that kind of thing, I categorize it as different types of for a lack of a better word, kind of a meltdown. They're just different levels. And what I wanna say is that it's okay to have a meltdown. It's, it's okay to lock yourself in your room and not talk to somebody. It's okay to cry. It's okay to do whatever it is that you do to deal with it. We're not superhuman. 
we're just human, that's it. Human nature is burned into us, no matter what. I've had many, many meltdowns in the past few years because of everything that's happened. You know, this channel has made me stress out like crazy, but I love it, I love what I do, and you guys have seen me just kind of disappear for a week. And it's not happened many times. It's happened like maybe once or tw maybe twice. That's, that's me dealing with it. That's me having some kind of meltdown for something that would have happened and just kind of shutting down for a little bit. Whether you do it for a day, whether you do it for two days, whether you do it for a, a week or two weeks, you know, a month, that's okay. Some situations are obviously a little bit more severe than others. For example, losing a family member. That's a big one. That's extremely, extremely hard to get through. I just lost a family member not that long ago, and it was hard. You know, I, I took a couple days off of YouTube because my family and I were all mourning, and, and we've, again, all been through that. Everybody has lost somebody, or they will. And it's sad. It's extremely sad. But don't think that crying about it makes you weak. What I'm trying to get across to you guys is mourning or crying or having a small meltdown is okay as long as you don't unpack your bags and stay there you have to move on everything moves on and, and if you stay there if you stay in that place it's gonna affect you and you're gonna have more and more and more to uh, have a meltdown about you're gonna have more to stress about you're gonna have more things to cry about you just have to keep moving forward and I know sometimes it's really really difficult I understand take that time and don't don't rush it there's no reason to rush anything like this as long as as long as you keep moving forward because everything else around you is gonna move forward. Whether you lost your job, maybe your relationship is crumbling or has crumbled. Maybe you just maybe you just lost a pet. That's hard too. And I'm here to tell you it's it's okay to cry. It's okay to be upset. Be upset. That's you're human. That's the way that you are. Just try not to stay in that one place forever. Say a few prayers if it helps you. It helps me, but you can do it. You can do this. You've got this. You are strong. You can get through this. Another thing some people do is they start a new hobby to get over something. They get into cars or they get into interior decorating. Maybe try that. That might help. There's a ton of different things that you can do to continue to move forward, but just make sure you're moving forward. Don't stay in a dark place. That is today's positive message. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoyed today's video, please like it. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, subscribe if you are interested. You guys give me positive things to think about every single day. And I am forever grateful for all of you because of that. Find something that's positive within your life and hang on to it. Grab onto it and don't let go. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you again. And until next time, I'm out. Later.